Hey guys, it's Katie with Crafty, and in today's Crafty Tells All, we are going to talk about a technique to help you weed those really small fonts or designs with just a lot of intricate details. So you can see here, this is a really curly font, um, and the technique is called reverse weeding, which basically is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to weed on your transfer tape instead of weeding away from your vinyl backing. So it's just the reverse of how you normally do it. The first tip is to keep your design on your mat while you're doing this, and that just allows to have some extra grip and keeps everything in place as you're weeding. So you're going to take your transfer tape and place it over your full design. This is going to feel really strange if you've never tried reverse weeding before because it's basically the exact opposite of what you normally do. So you're gonna put it on your transfer tape and just burnish really well over it. And then you're going to go ahead and flip up the piece of vinyl turn it over, place it back on your transfer tape, and we are gonna go ahead and burnish it really well again. And now you are gonna peel up the backing, leaving the vinyl on the transfer tape. The next step is going to be to use your weeding tool and peel away this larger outside piece. So you can see you are left with what you want to transfer. So you will have to go back through and take out these inside parts of the letters, just as you normally would. Once you're finished weeding, you can see you are left with your final design ready to transfer. So that is a quick overview of how to do reverse weeding and why it is a good idea on these really small intricate designs. Hopefully this has helped with you guys. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer in our Crafty Tells All series, just leave a comment down below or reach out to us on social media or email and we will be back soon to answer all your questions. 